Let's first consider a golf ball that doesn't have dimples and only has a linear velocity. That golf ball is going to fall out of the sky. That golf ball has a very, very high drag force that is acting on it and slowing it down. The drag force stems from the fact that the airflow towards the golf ball surface on the downrange side of the ball is pushing on that ball and creating a high region of pressure. Behind the ball, we have an area called the wake. The thing to know about the wake is that it's a region of low pressure. And that wake is created because the air streams from the front of the ball as they travel to the top and bottom surface of the ball ultimately separate and leave behind this, this air void, this region of low pressure. And it's the difference between high pressure on the front side of the ball and low pressure at the back side of the ball that ultimately causes drag and creates that force that wants to slow the ball down. What golf balls do and what golf ball dimples do is allow you to transition from that flow, which is called a laminar flow because it's flying right off the back, to a turbulent flow so that air hits the front edge of the golf ball and the dimples will energize that air, create a turbulent boundary layer. And because of that, the air will, instead of flying off the top edge of the golf ball, will actually stick to the back of the golf ball before it releases. So what you do is you take that wake of the golf ball and you make it go from this big to this big. You've reduced the size of the wake. So you've reduced that pressure differential between the front and back and that reduces your drag force. If you're able to create a better pressure differential, pressure on the back side of the ball that's closer to the pressure on the front side of the ball, your difference in pressure decreases, which means your drag force decreases, which ultimately lets the ball fly farther because you are not opposing the, the flight as aggressively. So the introduction of dimples onto the ball surface is really responsible for reducing that drag force and providing a longer, more sustained flight.